Oh, well, hello there. Welcome back to the Tartarus Key. Tartarus Key, more like the Charterus Key. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> come on, come on, grow up. Bloody grow up. Um, and we just had a, a, dare I say, very uneventful last episode where absolutely everything went to plan and nobody came to any harm. Uh, so I'd rather not talk about it. So, what made you want to be a detective? We trapped inside a mansion filled with elaborate death traps. Sicko's watching us via surveillance cameras. And you want to chit chat? Look, I've been running all over this place. I could use a breather. Help take my mind off everything for a minute or two. Besides, I'm curious about you. Did you always know uh did you always know what you wanted to do? I'm having trouble picturing you as anything other than um a very intense child. Hmm, well, not always, no. But I guess I've always liked puzzling things out, chasing things down, and I've never been able to stand it. How some people get away with something that hurts other people. Sounds like a story. Here we go. Hope you sit in comfortably. Not really. There was no big pivotal moment or anything, other than a general simmering of resentment at the overall state of the world. Of course. There was a time when I thought maybe I'd work in the family bakery. Ah, oh, backstory. It just didn't work out. What happened? I just didn't have the patience for it. All that fiddly, careful work wasn't for me. And, well, like you said, I've always been intense. After the third time I made a kid cry, I had to face up to the fact that I just wasn't made for sugar and customer service. When we get out of here, I have got to see your baby photos. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Alex. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, okay, yeah, we're carrying on. So we, um, where were we? We are literally down here. We were, where were we? We were upstairs. We did a little drinky poo and everything went fine. Um, what happened? Question mark. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, hell no. Still not massively helpful on the map, is it? We did get the peacock key, uh, so there's probably other places we could go, so I guess we just have to do a little bit of a looking around, won't we? Um, did we look at these? A bunch of old statues covered in drop cloths. Kind of creepy, but what else is new? Yep, cheers for the commentary. Right, um, so yes, yeah, so we were up there with the man who shall not be named. Uh, da, 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 da. Did we look in here? This was where we came from from, wasn't it? And this was not taking unscheduled appointments, so there's definitely someone else in there, isn't there? Um, why not? That goes in that slot. Ah, oh, okay. I don't think we had that dialogue before, did we? So we were in here, weren't we? And we did have this little thing, which is still unresolved. Because so we've got the um, hammer and pick, clock and paint brushes, and it looks like the painting behind is almost like the arrow, isn't it? which is like that. So, uh, where's our inventory? That's that. So, <laughs> so we're just walking around with this, basically, which I totally forgot about. So we've got the butcher's knife uh, stabbed straight into the base. Flail, how are chains staying, how, how are chains staying, staying so still? Some kind of glue? Simple hammer and pick. Terrifying to think that they're used in lobotomy. Yeah, very disgusting. Extremely pointy paintbrushes. Nice alliteration. Uh, that can't be easy to handle. Playing like an old pocket watch. Okay. Oh, yeah. And is there anything on the back? Four, two, one, and a three. Okay. So that's definitely related to that, isn't it? So, okay. So... It is hammer, clock, paintbrushes. Hammer, clock, paintbrushes. And that's got to be presumably the number of books. Hammer, clock, paintbrushes. Uh, so one. So we've got one there. Hammer, clock, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then what was it? Paintbrushes? Three. There we go. We did it. Oh, -ho! kept you waiting on that one, didn't I? What's going to be behind here? Oh, a secret room. 
Oh, we've only gone and bloody done it, haven't we? Well done. Pat yourselves on the back. Ah, we're in here. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Nice. Oh. Okay, okay, the game's checking those corners. Pretty empty. I wonder what these buttons do. Okay, yeah, let's make it all right. So uh, let's just we should have a little look first. Have a little look first. But it's not good to just go pressing buttons willy nilly. What the bloody hell is that? A stack of paintings. What are these doing here? They look. That looks disgusting. I can't tell what that is. And that looks like something disgusting crawling out of something else disgusting. Uh, okay. Good. Whoa. What the? What the? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh. Ah, lovely. So we've got... Uh, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> we've got something something slithering. Yeah, it's like serpent-like, isn't it? That's its upper body. Face, hair. It's reaching out to this sort of leaping demon who's covered his modesty. Good for him. He's got a nice six-pack going on. And then this fella, some sort of Christ-like or angel-like man, uh, with again with a six-pack, uh, putting me to shame here. And this guy with the big shield, fighting off some sort of minotaur, minotaur type character. Yeah, cool, okay. So, ah, someone loves buttons. Ooh, okay. So when I pressed that, those three lit up. So, they, yeah, so that's got a link to each one of these, isn't it, presumably? That's... Okay, so now those those guys have lit up. Okay, in the middle three. So it's doing it in threes. Okay, there we go. What the? Lamia painting examine. Whoa, this Lamia is menacing. I don't think I've ever seen one. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen them crawling across the floor like an actual snake before. I'd never even heard of that word, Lamia. Devil painting. Is it flying or falling? Either way, that demon looks pissed at the angel. Okay, angel confirmed. Amidst the chaos, an angel stands. Incredible craftsmanship. I suppose it is. Knight. A knight fighting off a minotaur. Is it defending the angel? Imagine a giant half bull, half man leaping towards you. That knight's shield's better be sturdy. Oh, <laughs> I dare say it, it better be. Uh, okay. Oh, crikey. Hello. Jesus. Things have just. Things have got to stop appearing out of nowhere. Okay, right, yeah, Torres, you, you'd want to see this. Everything all right, Alex? Just checking in. I'm looking at a bunch of weird statues and a painting. An angel, a demon, some sort of snake person. Oh, you mean a Lamia? Oh, sure, she knows. These two both know, but I've never bloody heard of the thing. Uh, um, I don't know. Do I? It's Greek mythology. The Lamia was a girl who was another casualty of Zeus and Hera's... On again, off again, marital squabbles. These days, they're mostly just used as generic fantasy monsters in most media. The actual legend is much more tragic. Do, detect do most detectives know this much about Greek, my Greek mythology? I can't have a hobby. Besides, when you spend all your time dealing with human monsters, the made-up ones are a lot more palatable. Yeah, I dare say. Okay, right. Okay. So, okay, weird. Uh-oh, we've got more symbols. So that's the angel examine. Incredible craftsmanship. I'm a little nervous. He's suddenly going to spring to life. Yeah, okay. Oh, and same again. One jacked minotaur. Would not want to be in a labyrinth with that. No, 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 no. Good point. Lamia. Snakes for hair. Are Lamias, are all Lamias Medusas? Yeah, I was going to say, that sounds like Medusa. Am I at risk of turning to stone? Uh, probably not. A knight that means business. Uh, it must be a god for the angel, or maybe it's the boss. And then the devil himself. Intense. I'm a little intimidated just looking at it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Stop looking at it. 
Right, okay. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to have to rotate, aren't we? Oh, hello. There we go. Um, okay, so let's have a look. So that's like a Z and a 7. So, is it just, li is it, is it going to be as obvious as just left to right? I wonder. So that's like a weird little torch thing. So that's that. We then got a little horny thing. I believe it's referred to. Uh, and then a weird sort of moon and nipple. Oh, there it was. Come back. There we go. Okay. And then a little umbrella. Oh, there it was. Bastard. Okay. Good? No? Of course not. Uh, okay. Another podium. This one's covered in symbols. Yeah, I, well, I guessed as much. So, okay. Ah, these... Yeah, look. Like, it goes bottom left, bottom left, and then up and down. Up and down. And then up again for the minutes. Okay, so that's what it corresponds with. So the bottom left. So the Lamia is the Z7. We got this, don't you worry, don't you worry. And then it's the devil himself is the torch thing, uh, which was here. Uh, that one. And then I believe it was Christ. Oh no, it was an angel um, in the middle. And he's the horny fella. Ironic. Uh, oh, there we go. And then the moon is the knight. Uh, yeah, that, that one. Oh, that was him. Okay. And then the umbrella is the Minotaur. There we go. Oh, did it. Easy. Too easy. Good. We've opened that door. Oh, and that door as well. It's a convoluted lock system, but at least those doors across the hall are open. I hope there's something nice inside. I mean, probably not, but I hope. Yeah, maybe there's like some cake or something in there. Well, lads, it's been nice knowing you. See you later. Okay, cool. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's really not good. Let's see what's through here, shall we? Hold on to your butts. Ooh, this looks tragic. What? What? Ah, yes, hello. I am, as you might imagine, quite relieved to see you. This is Charles, by the way. <laughs> Look at him. Hi. <laughs> uh, just wish you could get me out of here, could you? you uh, are you okay? What is this? Okay, my young friend. I am ec ec ecstatic. Why wouldn't I be? Tangible proof of my life's work. I, I, I'm actually quite moved by it all, as the kids say. This is all that and a bag of chips. I don't think they do say that. And your tangible proof is tangibly throttling you. Ah, my apologies. I was quite carried away in the excitement. My name is Charles Werner. I'm a historian in a specialised field of study. Not long ago, I woke up to find myself as you see me now. This has got to be special effects, right? The old practical stuff. Uh, I'm not going to get you out of there. I'll pull... I would advise against force. Whenever I struggle, it seems to upset it. Then how do I get you out of there? That's the spirit. Into the unknown with open arms. Granted, I don't have any uh, hands-on experience with this scenario. But if you were to look at your feet, that symbol is incomplete. But it shares similarities with uh, banishing circles prevalent in other cultures' mythos. If you can find a way to complete it, then perhaps... Sure, fine. Why not? Whatever. What with my boundless knowledge of ancient myth mythological ceremonies, that'll be a cinch. You are all right. She's just like that, Charles. She's just like that. You'll learn to love it. Not even close. But what else is new tonight? Then please, have a look around. If you find something, bring it to me and I may be able to help. Okay. Well, isn't this a pickle? Right, okay. Well, what the bloody hell was he doing in here? Ah, okay, here we go. I think there's a sigil here, just got to move the painting. Okay. If I squint, it kind of 
it looks kind of like a weird robot. I suppose it does. A circuit board. What's this? Looks like a sigil. You might need it to complete the circle. So how do I... Uh, you're the demon expert. Come over here and describe it to me. I might be able to identify it for you. Okay, I suppose I can do that. Oh, let's just move around the banishing circle. Hello. Okay, let's see what you got. Ah, yes, I recognise this. It's the sigil of the demon Malthus. It takes the form of a giant stork. That sounds lame. An artisan. It would build high towers and strongholds of the toughest materials. And that's everything for now. I get the feeling there's more sigils. Try to find them all. What is this Pokemon? Charles. Okay. Oh, this is a lovely little piece. Can we move this? Oh, hello. Cheeky. Who's that under there? Not sure what this sigil looks like. A shield, maybe? Well, kind of like a coat of arms, isn't it, really? More than a shield. Let's, uh... Actually, let's just have a look at this first. A ragged book. It looks to be a journal detailing someone's travels. Mystical lands, strange animals and beasts. Fiction, obviously. Right. Ah, added to inventory. Nice. What does it say? I can't tell if it's a fairy tale or meant to be serious. It's some sort of travel log? But all the things it describes, well, they don't exist. Strange places, monsters. Monsters? Or demons? Uh, trust me. It's a very important distinction. There's always some truth in any piece of fiction. Keep it in mind. What's this? It's, uh, it's like something straight of a horror movie. Less gory than the one upstairs. So, I just have to finish this drawing and you'll be free. Uh, that is the core component, yes. I can guide you through the rest of the ritual. Hmm, well, I guess I'll have to figure out where to put each sigil then. That's where I can be of some assistance. I dare say all my studies have led to this. Bring me anything you don't understand and I'll do my best to identify it for you. Cheers, Charles. Cheers, I appreciate that. So there's going to be four... Yeah, South Sigil, West Sigil. Let me guess, North, yes, and East, yes, we did it. There we go. Sigil looks like a mountain. Unknown sigil. Added to inventory. So what shall we? Anything on the back? Nope. Okay. Oh, don't tell me there's going to be a... No, no, no. Okay, they're basically the same either way. My time in the southern wastes... In the southern wastes was all too brief. Brief. Chased by a crimson crow. Emanating unbearable heat. I had to flee. I would have wandered into the frozen north. If not for the reptiles keeping guard. Though unintentional... I only live and breathe today, thanks to them. Oh, okay, this was probably the first page. I began my journey in the east. The barrier between our worlds rendered useless by great glowing gates. To my west lay a city of great spires, staggeringly tall and blindingly white. How long did I stay? Even now, I cannot say. For legal reasons, I've signed an NDA. Um, okay, so yeah, this is telling us where it is next week. He told us about... Uh, which one was it? He told us about one of them. Yeah, 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 there we go. Giant Stork, which did constructions of tall th things, didn't he? And then this was... To the west, lay a city of great spires, staggeringly tall and blindingly white. So that's probably that, isn't it? But we'll, we'll wait for now. Uh, let's go see what this fella's got to say for himself. Okay, let's see what you got. Ah, yes, this is the sigil for the demon Andromal Andromalius. Andromalius, something like that. A serpent tasked with discovering and punishing the evils of the spirit world. Oh, you have another I should take a look at. This would be the sigil of Raum. A crow demon known to steal, always seeking treasure. Its most famous heist was that of the underworld's soul flame, leaving it permanently shrouded in a fire that will never go out. And that's everything for now. I get the feeling there's more sigils. Try to find them all. Thanks, Charles. You're just quite the chap, aren't you? Okay. Uh, so, ah, there's this one here. This one's simple enough. It looks like a diamond. Yeah, it does. It kind of does. Uh, so there's that one, two, th three, four. So that should be all of them. Okay, let's see what you got. Indeed, I believe this is the sigil of the demon Furfur. Come on, that's not a real name. 
An enormous deer creature, okay. Its mighty hooves would shatter the sky, leaving thunderstorms in its wake. And that's everything for now. Yeah, okay, I like, his, I like the way he signs everything off with, and that's everything for now. I might have to start doing that in real, <laughs> in real life. Uh, when I get bored talking to people. And that's everything for now. Uh, okay, right. So, okay, so we had, so we've got the giant stork. We've got the Andromalius. So this was to do with construction, and they loved metal. They're a big metal fan. Uh, then we've got the serpent. Uh, tasked with punishing Sahodan. So let's start with the east. The barrier between our worlds, rendered used by great glowing gates. So is anything to do with that? Uh, could it be? Could it be that maybe with the fire that won't go out? Let's use the shatter the sky, leaving thunderstorms in its wake. Okay. Uh, in this time in the southern wastes, was he chased by a crow? Okay, so we can put the southern one down. Which one's that? So that was Raum. So that was the mountain one. So that's going to go in the south. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay, so okay, I would have wandered into the frozen north if not for the reptiles keeping guard. So that was a serpent. So that was that. I don't, um, was that? That was the north, and that was that sort of coat of arms looking thing. Yep, serpent. In you go. Just slot that in. There we go. And uh, what else did we have? So the west. This was the one that I thought was the crow, wasn't it? Because that was the. Took care of construction. Seemed to really love metal. Great spires. Yeah. So that's. I mean, that's got to be because the only other one is. Uh, this, isn't it? It's mighty hooves would shatter the sky. I don't know, so which one have we got left? We've got... So we've done the coat of arms and the mountain. So yes, yeah, these two. So that's the deer hooves that would shatter the sky. I mean... Is it that? So that's the crow and the reptile, which is definitely that. Serpent, crow. So yeah, it has to be these ones, isn't it? Don't talk. It's just that doesn't. It's mighty hooves which shatter the sky, leaving thunderstorms in its wake. Which day? That sounds kind of weird. That one, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I guess that has to be. Um. What was it? The West? Yeah, because that only makes sense with the crow. So we'll go with the crow on the West. Okay. Are you ready? This is it. This is it. This is it. And then it's this. This final one. All done? Circles looking good from here. I think you've got all the single sigils in the right place. Uh, no, I'm just gonna check. Let me double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. All right, all right. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still not sure about this one. This fur fur thing. It doesn't actually seem to make sense with the east. Uh, where is it? Very between the words are rendered useless by great glowing gates. But that doesn't make any sense with. Mighty hooves that shatter the sky, leaving thunderstorms in its wake. So, I mean, was that lit was that all of them? Is there another one? Oh, hello! I probably saw this on the way in, didn't I? I think this one's interesting. It's an eye or maybe a bow. Oh, there was a cheeky fifth. Okay, let's see what you got. This is the sigil of Bifrens, the two-faced beast. Yeah, two-faced little bastard. Uh, a master of science and arts, as am I. They maintain all the gates, there we go, and passages in the spirit world. I think you've got them all. Are we prepared now, Alex? No. Yes. Jesus, calm down, mate. Right, okay, let's change that. 
yeah, according to Charles, this represents Bifrins, I mean, weird word, two-faced monster, a master of science and arts, maintains all the gates and passages in the world. So that has to go in the east. Yeah, gates. Okay, cool. Okay, oh, oh, we almost, we almost fell for the trap, but luckily, my superior mind saw through it. You're in good hands, Charles. Are we prepared now, Alex? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think we're ready. Let's do this. I've got a good track record of saving people, Charles. You'll be glad to hear. Ready? Yes. Now that you've probably prepared, you only have one more step to complete. You have to visualize sending the creature back, banishing it into the void. I think I can do that. I'm a sassy young lady after all. Oh! Ah, this is, this is it. Proof. At last. At long last. Oh, we've only got to done it. Unless it's a bait and switch. Boom, he explodes. Okay. Yes, yes. Marvellous. Simply marvellous. Booyah. I wasn't expecting a booyah in 2023. I am so relieved that worked. Even if I don't get how. My young friend, you are party to one of the greatest revelations of the modern era. By your hand, you've just revealed the tangible proof of the supernatural. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, I mean, I'm not ready to go that far, okay? I can't, not for, not for my peace of mind. Let's just go see Torres. She's uh, my partner for the night, I guess. She'll want to meet you. Oh, it's all going on. Blimey. Hello, Alex. Ah, oh, Alex, what happened? Are you hurt? I kept calling you, and you didn't answer. I could hear these sounds. And who's this? I'm okay, I'm okay. Detective Torres, this is Charles. He's stuck here, like us. Ah, pleasure to meet you. And a detective. Oh my, this is exciting. Yeah, it's a real treat for both of us. Classic Torres. Alex, what happened? Oh, you know, Charles was trapped in a writhing flesh wall. There were magical runes and symbols everywhere. The usual, for him anyway. Big pardon, flesh wall? Quite an incredible spectacle from beyond. Oh, it was a wonder detective. Normally, I just talk with my therapist about boring things, so this will be exciting for her. <laughs> I bet she can't bloody wait. Okay, uh, uh, okay, so let me process this. You encountered some sort of special effects rig. I assure you, detective, as the person uh, enrobed by the matter, please don't use those words. Uh, uh, of course, pardon me. All I can tell you is it seemed very real. Alex, very heroically, banished it and freed me. She, <laughs> she was quite marvellous. While I believe Alex could do something like that, Magic monster circles don't exist. They just don't, okay? Look, she's got the proof. It had to have been, I don't know, a machine or or something in the air that made you both hallucinate. Oh, I I suppose that's a possibility. It just seems so real, so so <sighs> Well, if nothing else, this place is certainly filled with exciting mysteries, isn't it? Oh yeah, real thrill, edge of your seat, fun. Look, I need to keep searching this place. Torres has been going through all these books looking for any sort of clue or information. Ah, research. I love research. My time to shine. Perhaps you'd like a study buddy. We could put our heads together. Torres is like, Alex, seriously, can you get this guy the, f <laughs> the heck out? Sure, study buddy. Okay, well, you two crazy kids have fun. Don't stay up past your bedtimes. <laughs> well, that's our Alex. Uh, I'll report back if I find anyone else. Call me if you need me. Do take care, Alex, and thank you again for saving me. Oh, what good fun. Well, as I said, I'm not calling you a liar, Mr. Werner. Oh, please, call me Charles, or Chuck, if you like. I'm never calling you Chuck. I'm literally never going to call anyone Chuck. I've never been a Chuck before. Charles, all I'm saying is, I've been on a hell of a lot of cases, and it has never, not once, turned out to be monsters. Demons, actually, very different. 
common mistake. But uh, more importantly, Ms. Torres, Ms. Detective. Detective, sorry, but, well, I didn't see you, uh, I know you didn't see for yourself what Alex and I encountered, but surely, I think we're all under a lot of stress tonight, Charles, and I've already been doused with some sort of gas once, that's just the time we know of. Yes, there is definitely something happening in this place. As soon as we find the people who caused it, my fist is going to happen to their sternum. But no matter what anyone thinks they've seen, it's important that we stay focused on getting out of here alive, not spook ourselves with stories. But, ah, of course. I agree with you, Detective, you're right. That's the most important thing. And you have my full support, of course. Good. We're too banged up to go snooping around this place ourselves, and Alex has continued all the support she can get. Speaking of, Alex... Yes? Maybe this can help. I found it in one of the books. Okay. Looks, uh, the top looks like a lion. Ah, the lion key. Right. Try to keep an eye out for doors with lion motifs. Nice. Lion key confirmed. Oh, Torres, you've done a blinder. You've done an absolute blinding job. Charles, the jury's still out, but don't worry. So, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I don't think I've ever realised historian was a natural job. You know, outside of action movies. Ah, a uh, sadly widespread sentiment, if one isn't tenured, I assure you. And you study demons? Why? Why not? Religious studies are a vital step in understanding humanity's history. Uh, besides, the lore and mythos surrounding demonic entities is fascinating. Not just the entities themselves, mind, but often what they were meant to represent to people. The impetus behind each one's creation. Um, I guess not. Sorry, never really thought about it. Unless you got movies like Abattoir of Blood or something. Ah, personally, I've always enjoyed the sixth instalment. Avatar of Blood, a bride of the blood monster, criminally overlooked. Wow. I wouldn't have taken you for a, a schlocky horror movie buff. Oh, absolutely. Make a note for when we get out of here. Write a loanie my copy of Song of the Corpse Maiden. The subtitle import is far superior. <laughs> sure, Charles. When we get out, that's the first thing on my mind, sassy lady. Oh, that's Charles. That's Charles for you. Charles all over. Okay, kind of wish I had time to read them. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. All right, well, I guess we'll leave it there for today. For today's episode, we sold, we sold things, uh, and we got a key. And that's the most important thing in life, isn't it? Getting keys for things, uh, and opening them with the key to things. Yes. Oh, okay. I missed that when we looked at it before. Hence, because I, I examined it from here, so the camera sort of panned as though I was meant to see something. Well, that's what I was meant to see. There's literally metal there. This has got to be, hasn't it? This has got to be just one big set that we're on. It's like a TV show or something. Uh, or at least that's my way of coping with the fact that I killed a man. Uh, anyway, all right. Well, uh, where was the... That's locked. Okay, classic. Uh, where was the... Um, lion. That's a peacock. Yeah. Hey, Charles, you there? Yes, I read you, Alex, loud and clear. How may I assist you? It just occurred to me to ask you about if you knew anything about this sigil. It's uh, painted in front of the fireplace on the second floor landing. In blood, looks like. It sort of resembles a big triangle with what looks like a pentagram inside it at the weirdest, it, at the weirdest part. There's a lot of little symbols and interconnecting lines in it too. Hmm. 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 Hmm, what you're describing does sound a little like a speaking place. Certain cultures would have them. Sites adorned with glyphs and symbols. Uh, they would allow elders to hear the voices of their, well, their gods, I suppose. Though, in some cases, they were other beings. Oh, but uh, I've, I've never heard of blood being used for such a purpose. Typically, these were holy ceremonies. Quite moving, actually. Trust me, there's nothing holy about this. Ah, yes, I might have to agree. I don't suppose you uh, hear anything, do you? Alex? Ah, uh, no. I don't hear anything. 
Ah, oh, jeez, now you've got me spooked even more. Oh, Charles, what are you like? Uh, anyway, we were looking for the bloody... Where the lion key is. Was there one in this... Can we get into the... Oh, yeah, that was where we solved that puzzle. <gasps> Hold on a second. Oh, there was that uh, rumble, wasn't there, when we were in the... Downstairs. Hey, uh, Torres. Remember that super creepy door covered in blood? That's not a great segue. It isn't boarded up anymore, but that's because it was blasted off its hinges. You're already supposed to blow the bloody doors off it. It looks like it was destroyed from the inside. Do you see anything? Anyone? There's nothing else up here. Uh, I mean, I don't hear anything. Unless they're being very, very quiet. So, I don't know where they are. Okay, scaring myself. Not the most productive thing I've done tonight. Good job, Alex. Just breathe. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Phew, I'm okay. There's a, a staircase behind it. It goes down. And of course there's no lights. Alex, I hate to ask you this, but... No, no, I know. I'm the only one who can check it out. I'm sorry, I'm not of more use to you. You've already done so much, and... No, no, look. We're in this together, okay? And we're gonna get out of here, baby. Thanks, Alex. Watch your back. She keeps saying to watch my back. Wait, it's not... Oh, no, okay. Um, well, you know what? That's enough mystery for one episode, you lucky, lucky things. Uh, we'll continue in the next episode. Potentially. Goodbye.